Hello, this is Jeffrey Fox again, and we come to this uh, lesson uh, on Gartner's emerging te technology landscape. Uh, we originally did this on a broad basis in the introduction and the motivation, and but here we do it, uh, come back to it, show one or two slides from the past, and then focus on clouds and big data from Gartner's point of view. As we've uh, pointed out, Gartner has these extremely famous hype cycles, incredibly famous. And here's the overall um, 2013 hype cycle. Um, one interesting thing about Gartner's uh, work is it um, costs you many thousands of dollars to buy it. Uh, but every now and then, some parts of it are published. This one in 2013, not so much was published. This one I found. It came from an actual talk that Gartner gave. So they were obviously willing to give some of their things away. But other things such as the cloud hype cycle for 2013, as far as I can see, is not available. And um, we use the 2012 versions, not the 2013. So here we have the favorite topics of this course again, big data, cloud computing. Here we have a key feature of cloud platform as a service in memory. Uh, Database systems, we have in memory analytics, predictive analytics. Um, these are all aspects of uh, this course. And this uh, tells you about what a hype cycle looks like. Um, here we have the peak. Uh, we have peak of inflated expectations, negative press starts beginning around here. Uh, people are actually they're saying that now all about MOOCs. MOOCs are somewhere up here. Because there's all sorts of negative remarks about MOOCs. And also big data is over around here. People are saying, oh, it's not what it's cracked up to be. It doesn't solve my problem trivially. That just but usually, either that means there's something wrong with the idea. Often it just means that life's non-trivial. And to do it, it's still very promising, but it's got to do it right. So, whereas up here, everything is perfect. When you get through the trough of disillusionment, which uh, some technologies do, cloud computing and big data will definitely do that. We come on to the next generation, which are moving them further into broad acceptance. We have best practices, um, general broad deployment. And then we get up to about 20% here on the start of the plateau of productivity. And then you roar up that plateau, making more and more money or whatever you're trying to do. So that's a general feature of all technologies, according to Gartner. Another thing that Gartner has, these so-called priority matrices, which have time along the uh, horizontal axis and value along the um, vertical axis, where the value is transformational, high, and moderate. And here's a whole set of them from 2012 through 2008. And <coughs> We have here tablets, that's pretty transformational. Actually, they're already peaking up and not growing quite so much, but they're obviously enormously popular. They're wiping out PCs. In the two to five year time frame, we have big data and cloud computing. No cloud computing was two to five years in 2008. So that five years is a little um, symbolic. Um, but cloud computing has appeared in this uh, two to five year um, Framework for the last uh, five years, and uh, say um, in um, I actually I don't have the 2013 here, but I have that elsewhere. And we have big data actually moved to the five to ten year start in 2013. It's here in the two to five years in 2012 and 2011. So there is no doubt that what we're doing in this class is going to be changing the world. Um, because this just enables so many different things to happen. Uh, we have here, you know, here we have in-memory databases. I, those were on that hype cycle. So they're very important. But that's relatively straightforward piece of software. Um, here we have, now we come to uh, those we saw earlier in the class. I just took uh, some of them. Here we have actually the cloud computing hype, uh, priority matrix for 2012. I pointed out I do not have the 2013 cloud computing um, graphics. So we have here virtualization, well that's key to cloud computing, that's pretty mature. Here we have big data, uh, um, which may be moved, 
later on in, in uh, 2013, cloud, 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 platform as a service. These are all different features of clouds, advertising, the actual use of clouds and computing, community uh, cloud uh, activities. DevOps is we really do work on that here. That's the um, approaches to building automatically uh, systems on demand and making the whole system administration process far more efficient. Hybrid cloud computing is the joining of public and private clouds. And real-time infrastructure is what it says. There are many applications like defense applications where, or uh, traffic control applications where real-time is essential. Robotics, clouds for robotics need real-time response. And so that you have to solve that with a mix of back-end clouds, which could have delays, and some forward station, station and um, smaller processors, which guarantee some real-time response. Here we have the actual hype cycle for cloud computing. Um, platform as a service is up here, top of the hype. We have your infrastructure as a service is actually mature. You notice the difference here between PaaS and IaaS. That probably reflects reality. Platform as a service is much richer, and um, that will take a longer time to mature. Here we have the actual use of clouds for computing. Here we have the use of clouds for storage. Here we have the actual building of platforms on clouds. Um, we have advertising here, software as a service is well established, and so on. Hybrid cloud computing, which we mentioned already, public, private computing mixed up for security and and um, performance issues. You maybe you want to use the public cloud as the booster for your private cloud. So whenever you have your Mother's Day problem on your private cloud, you automatically burst to the public cloud. Big data sitting down here waiting to come along. So these are all um, you can just see all the different parts of clouds and where Gartner puts them. Here's this little quote from Gartner where I mentioned about big data is um, going into this trough of disillusionment. People come to big data is too important. Um, and if that stops companies from pursuing the, the ideas, then the companies that ignore this trough and actually pursue them will just do better. So I recommend doubling down and putting more effort into big data. Um, so the um, advice in you, what happens is what I said, people actually found it's non-trivial. Um, and, and it's not, you can't just run a dupe. A dupe is non-trivial, requires a lot of effort, and that's just to be expected. Nothing in life is easy. And in fact, if it was easy, this wouldn't be exciting. One reason um, big data and clouds are exciting is they're incredibly non-trivial, but they do so much. Uh, here we have um, the big data hype cycle. We have in-memory databases. Um, we have um, analytics of various sorts, database software as a service. Um, here we have supply chain analytics, um, sort of Downgraded web analytics is meant to be pretty mature. Social networking analysis, NoSQL, we'll discuss that briefly as a new approach to doing data. And there's also other courses in this certificate, which are, and, and master's degree, which will cover that. Cloud-based grid computing, I don't believe what that, I don't think that means much. Collaboration in the cloud is highly important. Parallel processing, that can be done in the cloud. Geographical information system in the cloud is good. So these are all um, different applications and components of big data. Here we have the priority matrix. Well, we have right at the top our favorite entry in the priority matrix, cloud computing. Here we have um, a particular style of, uh, of database management system and um, here we have the in-memory database management system, hybrid cloud computing. Um, lots of anal analytics of various sorts, um, social, social analytics and memory analytics. So I don't believe this stuff about data grids. So I don't know what they. I don't know if they know what they mean. Node semantic web, which is a popular academic topic, is sitting here. It's only high, and it's more than ten years. 
Internet of Things, which I mention a lot in this class, that's very important. Information, um, by the value of information, I don't quite know what that means. So, um, this, uh, here are just the components of the big, big data um, revolution. I would put things like graph, graph, graph algorithms and graph databases as also an important component, which isn't so obviously mentioned here. So, and finally, just to show to humble us, I went over to Google Trends and I plotted the, the trending of spinach versus the trending of big data and to dupe and things like that. And um, unfortunately, although um, if you compare um, data sciences, which is down here, is almost nothing. We have here um, cloud computing, uh, Hadoop, and big data. They're all pretty good, but spinach is much better. So maybe we should just all eat spinach and not bother with what we're doing now. So that's the end of this uh, little discussion of Gardner trends. It just tells you what uh, Big industry observers think it's going to be important. Uh, thank you very much. The next lesson discusses uh, two examples of the use of cloud computing. Thank you.